What's up, guys? This is key number 13, and it's insinuation. That's what key number 13 is. And what insinuation is, is you plant ideas in her subconscious that will come out later. Now, insinuation, this was a big thing that a lot of everyone that I learned from had in common when they were teaching me. So I kind of saw it as very important, and it is pretty important, but not in the way that they were all teaching me. And I'll tell you that way right now, but insinuation is pretty much it's your own thoughts but you're you're kind of trying to plant them in her head so that way they come out of her later so that way it's like you you know you're planting it in her subconscious so that way it comes out of her subconscious to her conscious mind and it seems like she just thought of that you know she doesn't really remember that you're the one that put it there that you're the one that put that thought there how you do this is you make statements and you quickly retract them and move on. Like I said, when they were talking about how important insinuation was, the gurus would say things like, oh, say that it would be a good idea for you guys to have sex. And then they would say, quickly retract that statement. So that way she gets hit off guard by that. She's like, what? But then you quickly retract it so she doesn't have time to think about it. But then it's planted in her head because you said it. It's out there in the open. Now that's going to reach her subconscious. It's going to become a thought later on. And she might not remember what you said, or she might, even if she does remember, she might not know that the idea of you guys having intercourse came from that statement. It's just going to come now out of nowhere because you put that out there. That's like a practical example of insinuation with words. But really, I don't know. I don't really like doing that so much. I, don't, I just don't know exactly. I guess I don't have much experience doing it to know exactly when to say the right things like that. Because you have to be very careful, right? If you say, if you make the wrong comment, she might not just brush it off. She might be like, whoa, what do you, no, that's too forward or whatever. So I, I'm always very careful of that. I don't really use it too much in that way. Because you don't want her to become defensive. And that's the next point. And then the next one after that is insinuate not with just words, but with your looks and actions. So that's more of how I do it when I'm insinuating. I don't really use the words, make statements and take them back. So like I said, it's very tricky, but I insinuate more with like body language looks like this whole course. Like I said, it's about what is your vibe and what is your everything else given off besides your words and anything materialistic like your looks or, or money or whatever. Right. Body language plays a huge role, as I've been saying. So. The example I have right here is give her a stare that lets her know you want her, then go after her with no hesitation. That's kind of the move, my go-to of insinuation. I guess showing my body language is just staring at her, letting her know that I want her, that I'm, and then you go after her with no hesitation because then if you hesitate, she thinks about you know whatever you're thinking about. She's like, why didn't you come? It just ruins the whole thing. You have to go right when you guys make eye contact and just put her on her heels pretty much. And you're insinuating, you know, you're sending messages with your body language, with your eye contact, with everything. So that's how I use insinuation. Like I said, it's more of my what I do with my body, with my looks. What am I insinuating with that language more than my word language? So that's insinuation. Like I said, be careful if you're going at it the way of using words. But even if you are, either way, body language, word language, any kind of communication that you're sending, it's going to be effective if you can insinuate your own thoughts and intentions into her to make it seem like she's the one that thought of it. So that's key number 13, and let's get into the next one.